What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of Sports to the Wire. For those of you who are actually new to the show, I am your host, Rasheed White. My partner, my boy, Barrett Burrell, he will be with us tonight, maybe tomorrow. We actually see, we'll see what actually goes on over here. All right, so you, as you guys can see with the, t- the title over there, Kyrie Irving is the most skilled point guard uh, ever, according to Chauncey Billups, and you have a lot of people that actually uh, disagree with this, and they are remedial, I should actually say. <laughs> Let's listen in. Now, Kyrie is an awesome player. I think he's a first ballot Hall of Famer. I know I might be in the minority on this show in that regard. And he is the greatest ball handler in NBA history and arguably the greatest finisher among point guards. Like, he's one of the best finishers. But is that all that Chauncey's looking at? Because uh, He can actually shoot the three at almost, I believe, 40-something percent. Excellent mid-range shooter. A really, really good passer. Now, he's not a willing passer. Oh, he, he can pass, but... Let's listen to more. If I, if I want to point out the three it's major awesome. skills for a point guard, I would say shooting, passing, ball handling. And so I got a feel like he's obviously not the best shooter. That's Steph. I, I could argue Steve Nash was a better shooter than Kyrie. Now, he didn't shoot as much as Kyrie, but his field goal, he was 43% from three. Just didn't shoot it a lot. So he's not the best shooter of all time. I said he's the best ball handler. Best passer? Kyrie averages 5.7 assists for his career. All right, now, I, I can't even go through all the names of point guards who are better passers than Kyrie. And it's not just based on assists, but Kyrie is not that point guard that has that incredible vision, that Magic Johnson, Steve Nash guy like that. He's not even the best passer on his team right now. That's James Harden. So I'm... There's a difference between not being a good passer and not being a willing passer. I mean, these guys never played basketball basketball before, man. And it really, ooh, it really starts to really start to get to me over here. That's why I actually started this channel because you get tired of, I get tired of hearing people like him and Nick Wright. And, and to try to say that Chauncey Billups doesn't know what he's talking about. He's a Hall of Fame point guard, a championship point guard. And he's someone that can actually do a basketball tutorial. So if he was to put a, a, a video out there in terms of like basketball skills and here's what you need to do to be a better passer, a better shooter, a better ball handler, guess what? I'm going to listen to him. He's played a long time in the NBA. He's played at the highest levels. <laughs> and for these guys to actually come over here and disagree with him and say, no, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Jesus Christ. Here, I'm going to give you two guys who overall, skill-wise, I will put ahead of Kyrie. And he can be up there in the discussion. But Isaiah Thomas, ball handling, I give Kyrie a slight edge. But they're allowed to carry now. You didn't do that when Isaiah Thomas played. Oh, he was a great ball go. handler. And a great, and a great finisher. Isaiah, I would, I, everybody talks about Kyrie's finishing and he's phenomenal. But Isaiah Thomas Harry, was shorter Harry. than Kyrie. And had carry the team and had to finish back when there would be six to eight other guys in the paint. No. Nope. Anyways, once they changed the rules to so where you can't throw people, that Detroit uh, Pistons team was a uh, a physical team. They would hammer you. They would knock you down to the ground. And once they actually took that out and actually implemented real skills back into the NBA, uh, guess what happened to the Detroit uh, Pistons team? And no, he's not better. Isaiah Thomas is not better than Kyrie. I'm sorry. Your players, the opponents, and you had to find a way to finish. Oh, and by the way, you might get hammered. All right, you could get your teammates. You could get hammered back in the day. He so still was a great guy, finisher sure. at the rim. The other guy is Steph. Because Steph- <laughs> These guys keep riding Steph Curry's dick. Listen, he's not better than Kyrie Irving. He's not better than Kyrie. All Steph Curry has over Kyrie is shooting. 
I'm sorry. Kyrie is a better defender. Kyrie is a better passer. Kyrie is better at getting downhill. Kyrie is better at actually getting to the free throw line. Kyrie is a better decision maker with the basketball. I've seen Steph Curry a blunder the basketball, shrink in the fourth quarter, hold the basketball, get double team, not pass it, take bad shots. You know, those, those, those shots he be pulling from 30, 35 feet, yeah, they, they're good. They work in the first half of the season when you actually have your legs. But you're talking about in the finals, those are bad shots. So shot selection, Kyrie better. Much more athletic. He's not better than Steph. I mean, James Harden is better than Steph Curry. Kevin Durant's better than Steph Curry. LeBron is better than Steph Curry. Kyrie is better than Steph Curry. John Morant's better than Steph Curry. Just trying to think of other players and everything. I mean, from a skill set. And listen, from a skill set. I'm not talking about most accomplished. Skill set. Skills-wise, player-wise. Yes, Kyrie is one of the best skilled players in NBA history. More skilled than Michael Jordan. More skilled than uh, Scottie Pippen. I'm paying to watch Kyrie over Michael Jordan. He's that jaw-dropping. And I'm more relatable. I mean, you can argue that, and you know, from a regular basketball player, I can relate more to Kyrie than I can relate more to Michael Jordan. You know, you can you can get ball handling skills like Kyrie if you're actually willing to put the work in. <laughs> you know, not everybody can jump like Mike. So yes, Kyrie is one of the most skilled players. He's the most skilled player. Better than Magic Johnson. I don't want to hear about accomplishments. Fuck accomplishments. Because that's a whole nother uh, a conversation. Nobody does it on your own. Basketball is a team sport. I don't want to hear about Michael Jordan got six rings. No, Kevin Durant is a better player than Michael Jordan. <laughs> he just gives me more intangibles. Yes, I would take Kevin Durant over my, based on skill set. Yes, not accomplishments. Accomplishments. Then you would say Bill Russell is better than Michael Jordan. He got nine rings. Jesus Christ. Well, so I would say those two definitely Nick belong ahead of Kyrie. No. I while you go because I want to I want to let this all because I agree with most of what Bruce let, let me all right now he I, he kind of agrees with me let me let me I want to hear Nick Wright's dumbass I get tired of this freaking get tired of his ass too he's so stupid if this is wait a second if this is our grading skill then honest question top five all time skilled point guard Rafer Alston otherwise known as Skip to my Lou right. His handle and layup Fair back point. and just second. Not better than Kyrie. This is an insane conversation. Categorically bonkers. Guys, of course Isaiah and Steph are more skilled. By the way, <laughs> they're not more skilled than Kyrie. Give me a break. What are you talking about? Jesus, man. I mean, I know these guys, they're being biased. That they hate Kyrie. On, on, on a personal level, whether it be this vaccine bullshit and his flakiness, whatever, he, the flat earth thing. He, let's, let's just talk about the basketball player itself. I wouldn't get Wilds just said, just a total drive by on the fourth greatest player ever, Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson was a big point guard. Oh, yeah, a big point guard. Going to 10 finals, had the greatest vision ever. And I mean, what are we talking about? The dawn of Showtime. Hold on, wait a second. Okay. His skill is great. His skill is great. Do I think that we all, by, do I think Kyrie has worked on his game? more than dame has worked on his no they're saying dame, uh, kyrie is a better player than dame size by the way dame's probably shorter and i am a, i do think kyrie's a hall of famer you said you, you might be in the minority i don't, know, I don't really care about balance kyrie if he stopped playing today is a hall of famer with that said if this is true and this is what i want your guys take on if, if he is the most skilled point guard ever, if that's true, then this is also true. He has greatly underachieved. 
Listen, man, I'm done with this fucking video. I can't deal with this anymore, man. Because I don't, again, like I just said, I know I'm repeating myself here. I don't want to hear about accomplishments because that is a team thing. And a lot of things have to go right. Michael Jordan's Bulls was a loaded team. The, the Lakers back in Magic Johnson's heyday was a loaded team. I mean, you have Byron Scott, a Hall of Famer, coming off the bench. You know, I'm done with this video. Uh, stop, please, if you're a fan of these guys, stop listening to these guys, man. Stop listening to them. I, I don't even know what to even say anymore, man. We'll wrap this video up. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Certainly share this video. When you share, the universe certainly shares back with you. Peace.